Now it was about stamping my name in boxing. He's a good fighter. He's a good fighter, a strong fighter, young fighter. Yeah, but I never, all my fights, I don't like predicting nothing, you know what I'm saying? I just know it's gonna be fireworks. That's all I say every time. My biggest. Buckle up, boxing fans, cause the face-to-face -face for Canelo Alvarez versus Igar Berlanga dropped and has taken over the internet. Yep, that one got intense. We're about to dive deep into one of the most anticipated face-offs in recent memory. Canelo Alvarez, the undisputed pound-for-pound -pound king, is locked in a showdown with the rising star, Edgar Berlanga. Get ready for some serious heat. These two are set to step into the ring with each other on September 12th. But let's just say, during the face-to-face, -face, they were ready to throw hands right there and then. Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican maestro. He's been at the top of the boxing world for years, with a record that speaks for itself. But now, he's facing a challenge from a hungry up-and-coming fighter, Edgar Berlanga. This undefeated knockout artist from Brooklyn has been making waves with his explosive power and aggressive style. So what happens when two KO machines decide to go head-to-head -head in a pro bout? Guess we'll find that out in a week. Let's cut to the face-to-face -face because, man, it got spicy real quick. These two didn't come to play nice. From the moment they locked eyes, you could feel the tension in the room. It was so thick you could cut it with a knife. Canelo, calm but menacing, with that been there, done that energy. And Berlanga looks like he's got something to prove. This is the opportunity of a lifetime for Berlanga. If he manages to pull this off, it'll be the biggest upset in the history of boxing. There's a lot on the line for Canelo than Edgar. If Canelo loses, it's going to be a tough one to swallow. He won't be the face of boxing anymore. On the other hand, if Edgar loses, then no one would care, and the young fighter goes back to boxing. Everyone will respect him for having the guts to go up against Canelo. But hey, with all the trash talking Edgar Berlanga is doing, he's coming to dethrone Canelo. You feel me? And with me, man, you know, is when Canelo fights, he's different. Oh, of course, I know. And I can do whatever I want. You can see the disrespect, but you can also see the confidence in both of these guys. Berlanga wants that throne, and Canelo's not ready to give it up without a fight. And that's what's gonna make the difference, you know what I'm saying? It's not, a, everybody keeps saying about the power, about, all oh, you big, you strong. It's cool. And when you feel the power. All right, so let's talk about why this fight is even happening. First up, Canelo Alvarez. No introduction is needed for the man who's held world titles across four different weight classes, from light middleweight to light heavyweight. He's fought and beaten the best. Mayweather, GGG, Callum Smith, you name it. Then you've got Edgar Berlanga, AKA the chosen one. This guy has 22 fights and 22 wins, with 17 of those wins coming by knockout. This man was on a mission to KO everyone in the first round until he hit a few bumps on the road. But don't get it twisted. He's still dangerous. <laughs> but hey, get this. No one wanted this fight to happen. Everyone was expecting the mega fight between Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez. Canelo was never one to duck, but you know what they say, there's a first time for everything. What fans really want is a brawl, and that's exactly what we'd get if Canelo faced off against David Benavidez. Oscar De La Hoya is especially vocal about this. He's taken multiple shots at Canelo, accusing him of dodging Benavidez. The September 14th fight has been made. Canelo Alvarez, Edgar Berlanga. A fight that nobody asked for. Fans are now starting to boycott Canelo for continuing to duck you know who. Also, they're going up against the UFC at the Sphere. Ooh, good luck with making a splash with that one. Canelo has been ducking Benavidez for a long time now. Just take a look at this video where he himself said, He's tired of people asking him to fight David Benavidez. 
Canelo Alvarez has no plans to step into the ring with him. A lot of people want to see uh, on the last uh, fight of your three-fight deal, a uh, fight with David. Do you think he's at that level? If he beats Andrade on pay-per-view and he keeps winning, that, that could be the last fight of this PBC deal, you and David? I don't know. We don't know. We 100% focus on this fight and then we'll see. But uh, uh, it's always a chance. You're tired of all that talk? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, remember when everybody is talking that with when I when when I happy with Golovkin. Oh, Golovkin! Oh, Golovkin! I'm tired because I always fight the fighter. You say. But still, you can't take anything away from Canelo's new opponent. That's what Oscar did, and something tells me he's gonna regret it. Edgar is a solid fighter. I mean, there's a reason why he's undefeated. You can't even say the same about Canelo. So it's going to be a good challenge for Canelo. And the way Edgar is talking online, he seems like he's ready to fight tomorrow. Hello, y'all. It's Edgar Belanga, and I want to tell my fight fans, man, we got the fight. Belanga versus Canelo, live September 14th in Las Vegas on pay-per-view. And for y'all haters, man, y'all going to eat your words. And don't sleep on me, because y'all going to be sleeping for a very long time, man. Knockout season, fireworks. You know how we coming? <laughs> Big New York. Let's talk about the physical and mental game, because in boxing, that's half the battle. Physically, Berlanga is a specimen. He's strong, powerful, and athletic. But Canelo's conditioning is next level. You've seen him go the distance in fights, and he's always composed, always sharp. Mentally, Canelo's been in high-stakes situations his entire career. He's fought under the brightest lights, in front of sold-out arenas, and he's never cracked. Berlanga's been in the spotlight, but not at this level. This is a whole new ball game for him. So the question is, when the pressure's on, will Berlanga rise to the occasion or crumble? Canelo's banking on the latter. He knows how to turn up the heat in the later rounds, and if Berlanga's not ready for that, it could be a long or short night for him. You know what I'm saying? But it's about the mentality, the IQ, and that's just all, all it is for September 14th. I really dreamed about all of this shit, man. Like Let's see what the boxing pros are saying about this matchup. Terrence Crawford has given his prediction in favor of Canelo. We got a fight. Yeah. Why would I be thinking about him? What do you think of the Belanga fight? I think he stops Belanga. Most pros are going with Canelo for this one. You can't blame them. Canelo has a lot of experience over Berlanga. And that accounts for a lot in a match. Former pro boxer Juan Marquez said Berlanga won't even make it to the final bell. What do you think about Canelo Berlanga? People want Benavides. Is Berlanga a Can young I, fighter, yes. big puncher? Yes, I know. But uh, the level of opponents uh, has uh, it's a different, a different. Canelo has experience. Berlanga he doesn't have. And then this is the difference. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think the pressure is for Berlanga. I think. Uh, Berlanga needs experience. Berlanga needs to fight with another great fighters. I think Canelo knocked him out. He knocks out Berlanga? Yeah, yeah. I, I knocked him out in seven rounds. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.